All right, foam roller. We're gonna do foam roller of the Achilles tendon and the gastrocnemius or the calf muscle. Um, so for us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on a foam roller. If we're thinking about the anatomy, I'm gonna to wanna to desensitize right around that Achilles tendon. So what I can do is I can get on my foam roller, anchor it down, lock it down, and I can scrub side to side. And as I scrub to side to side to kind of desensitize the slide and glide the tissues around it, I'm gonna change the angle of my foot and the ankle. So I'm catching some of the outside, catching it right on front to uh, back to front, and I'm catching the inside of it as well. So I might do that for like 30 seconds per position. Then if I wanna get aggressive with it, you know, I can start to do almost like some of this kind of plantar flexion, uh, like I'm gas pedaling. But what I can do is I can load with my other foot on top of it just to kind of um, put some extra pressure on there, extra tension. If I really wanted to, you know, I could do the same thing, push down here while I do some gas pedals. And again, I'm catching more of the outside fibers. I'm catching it dead on. I'm positioning my hip this way and catching some of it. Once I'm ready to roll into the gastroc and the soleus, it's all posterior. So you already did all the ball work on the outside, all the ball work on the inside. What we're talking about is just dead on uh, on the backside. You know, again, I'll do my prep work of, you know, that mobilization at the ankle, just start prepping it. But I'm gonna split the bottom leg uh, into two portions. It's gonna be top half, bottom half. So I'm gonna clean up all bottom half before I move on to top half. So what I'll do is, you know, I can position my leg on top for extra pressure, or I can lift up, put pressure on there, or I can do a combination of both to put extra pressure on there. After I've scrubbed, then I'll start doing a slight roll. So I'm gonna roll front to back, and I'm just staying in that one zone, in that bottom zone, that lower zone. While I do that, I'm changing the position of my hip so that I'm changing what tissues I'm putting pressure on. So if I find something that's interesting to me while I roll, then I might stay on there for up to a minute, really cleaning it out. I'll push down with my leg and I'll do some more gas pedal just to get it, uh, to get some pull through uh, around that hot spot. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna think about the top half. So I start off at the top half. The only thing with the knee is at the back of the knee, those mu muscles bifurcate at the tendon. So we're never gonna push directly into the back of the knee, but we're thinking about those tendons coming out to the inside and outside of the knee. So I'll start off here, I'll scrub it side to side, and I'll scrub it side to side this way, scrub it side to side that way for about 30 seconds, just warm up tissue, loosen it up. Once I'm ready to, I can put extra pressure on there or extra pressure on there or extra pressure on there, or extra pressure on there. You know, once you start to roll, you're, you're essentially looking for the hot spots again. So I'm putting pressure on there, I'm starting to roll front to back, and I'm changing the angle of my hip as I roll to see if I can create, you know, a little bit more tension or find the hot spot. If I find a hot spot, then I'll really roll it out, and I'll spend time here for up to a minute, and then maybe after I'm done rolling on it, I'll put pressure on that hot spot while I'm doing like some cars for the ankle or some ABCs for the ankle, just basically gas pedaling to try and get some tissue to pull through. Do not forget to roll your hips one way or the other so that you can catch some of those inside fibers and outside fibers.